Dear De La Ghetto, motherfucker, let's go. Dear De La Ghetto, how the hell do you keep a conversation going? When I talk to girls, I just end up talking about weird shit. So basically, how do I keep a conversation going without being boring? Vin, aka explicit. The first few stages of courtship are always the most interesting when you're getting to know somebody and you just, you don't know anything about them and you're trying to see if you're compatible, right? So you're on the phone and you don't want things to be awkward, but shit's always gonna get awkward. Try to avoid questions like, so what do you like to do for fun? I hate when people ask me that. Like what, what, what am I, what do I say to that? Uh, uh, shit, uh, I like to chill. Uh, I be on Tumblr a lot. Some basic things that always kind of lead to good conversations are if you ask about music, movies, television, everybody has their favorite movie, everybody has their type of music that they listen to, everybody has something that they want to say about it and share about it and share with you. Also another thing that I've always found to be a great conversation starter is if you talk about dreams. Everybody's had that one weird ass dream that they always remember or everybody has like weird shit going on in their brain at night that it's just always interesting to talk about. So you can always just be like, yo, I had the weirdest dream last night, man. I don't even know what it means. I was being chased off a cliff by a green pit bull and then Justin Bieber and Zayn from One Direction saved me and we all ate a platter of uh, Tostino's pizza rolls and some lean pockets uh, and then we all went to the strip club and then I put it in uh, 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 Demi Lovato's booty hole. And the beauty of dreams is that they can be about anything, they can be open to all types of interpretation, so this conversation will probably be going for a while. Of course you're gonna run into some awkward moments, and some things I like to do during awkward moments is shit like this. Man, you crazy. You crazy. And the girl's always gonna be like, what? Why am I crazy? I'm not crazy. You're like, man, you crazy. And she's gonna be confused for like five seconds, but it's gonna give you time to think of some more shit to talk about. Or another thing you can do if you have a sense of humor like me and you can pull this off is uh, be like, hey, hey, uh, let me ask you something, let me ask you something. What color panties you got on? And she'll be like, oh my God, you are so crazy. Or what? You are bad. Which are both good responses. Or she'll just tell you and be like, oh my God, red with polka dots. And then you'll be like, yo, that's hot. And now you've opened up the doors to this dirty conversation and then you could even segue into a Skype conversation and then, you know, take your dick out, you start jerking your shit, she starts diddling her little cooch, good to go. Dear De La Ghetto, what would you do if you're put in a situation where your really good guy friend tells you that he likes you, but he knows you don't like him back because you've talked about it? Over the course of time, he gives you attitude or just treats you like crap because you're not treating him the same way as before because you don't want to lead him on. You try to work things out, but he's being stubborn and won't leave you alone. What would you do? Sign, desperate for help. Okay, desperate for help, I got you. Check it out. Unfortunately, if you are a attractive slash cool to hang out with girl, your guy friends will eventually, at one point or another, develop feelings for you. This is just, it's what happens. It's what we do, we can't help it, okay? We see a sexy girl, we see a cool girl, and if she's both, it's amazing. So it's like, how can I not want to hop on this opportunity? Girls, if you're lucky, you have a sexy homeboy, and then you're like, you know what? I wanna give this a chance. He's sexy, he's my best friend. I, this has the potential to be an amazing relationship, right? But that's not always the case, you know? Sometimes you have a homie that you just don't see that way. Or maybe he has man boobs, or maybe he has stinky popcorn feet, or maybe he has, uh, like, he, he just grows the beard without the mustache, and he just has really weird facial hair. Nevertheless, you gotta do like Desperate for Help here, and you gotta reject his advances, okay? Now, what's gonna happen for a guy is that he's gonna need time to process this. He's not just gonna automatically be like, oh, okay, cool, let's be best friends, you know what I'm saying? He's gonna be a little bitter. He's gonna need time to be angry. He's probably not gonna wanna talk to you. He probably might not even wanna see you. But if he truly values your friendship, he'll get over it and he'll be your friend again. You know, I've been there. I've been that homie that has had feelings for a homegirl and then like, it just didn't work out. You know what I'm saying? And like, but it, it took me a while for it to give up because I'm a persistent motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I don't take no for an answer, you know? I'll keep on trying to like get my way in there and then, and then we might kiss or she might touch my penis or something, you know? And, and I've seen situations where you as the homegirl can just be like, oh my god, why are you doing this? I just want to be friends. I just can't wait to be friends. I miss you. I just want to be friends. 
and then the guy will be like, oh, shit, please, stop crying. Okay, okay, let's just be friends. Okay, I'm over it, I'm over it, I'm over it. Dear De La Ghetto, how do I politely tell a girl to shave downstairs? Grand Omar. All right, Omar. <laughs> Good question. It's funny because girls are usually the ones that shave and they're like, how do I get my guy to shave downstairs? Now, if y'all watch my videos, you know me. I talk about shaving my pubes all the time. I figure if I like my girl's uh, uh, vagina to be bald and smooth, then the least I can do is uh, keep my shit smooth as well, you know? I understand sometimes you want to keep a little landing strip. Maybe you don't want super hot wax or super razor sharp uh, 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 shavers down by your super sensitive lady parts. I understand that. But you know, it's just, I watch a lot of porn and everybody's so smooth and everything just feels better when it's so smooth, you know? And, and, and nobody likes doing this. So my first suggestion to you, bro, is that if you really want her to shave, make sure you are shaved and smooth so she's going to be like, oh, he shaved, maybe I should shave. Or you could be like, you know what, baby, I love the way your skin feels, you know, and I feel like it would make our sex life a lot better if, you know, it just if, if it was just skin on skin down there, you know. And if that doesn't work, one day when y'all are getting freaky, right, and you pull her panties off, you be like, ow, what the fuck, and then uh, hit her with a baseball bat in the vagina, right? And then when she's like, ow. And you be like, baby, I'm so sorry. I thought there was a rat attacking your pussy. Dear De La Ghetto, how do you handle a girl with a promiscuous past? I'm Asian, and she's been with this black dude for a minute and said she was into it. Is this a sign of my self-consciousness, or do I just need to get over myself? All right, bro, everybody gets a little paranoid when it comes to their new person's ex-boyfriends or ex-girlfriends, right? That's why you always kind of go on their Facebook, creep, look at the ex's pictures, and you're like, Psh. Yeah, Amy cute or oh my god, she is so ratchet. What the fuck? She that bitch is fat. Everybody goes through this, you know, and as hard as it is, you just gotta get over it. You know what I'm saying? Like that's the past. They're with you now. Like they're with you for a reason and they're not with that person for a reason. So as a guy, I know what we do. Guys wanna know everything. Guys wanna be like, so you uh you like you like you like to have sex with him? Uh he make you come? Oh, okay, okay. Um would y'all, did y'all do it a lot? Like, would y'all, you like his dick? You like the way his dick looks? Is it better than mine? And if she's a good girlfriend, then she'll tell you, I mean, yeah, we have some, nah, man, yours is way better. Yours is way better. I love your sex way better. You know, that's just, that's what she's supposed to tell you. And like, it's all irrelevant and bullshit, but it's just what we need to hear. It's what needs to happen, ladies. If a guy is asking you these questions, answer them. And all you gotta do is tell him that he is better, okay? But honestly, bro, if it's the big black dick and the Asian pain thing that you're worried about, you shouldn't let that make you self-conscious. Like, you really shouldn't, you know? Um, I used to mess with a girl, not even date. I used to mess with a girl that the dude that she was um, boning before me, she used to tell me had a huge Mandingo King Kong, like, 11-inch, like, just a big-ass dick. But here's the thing, she loved my penis, you know what I'm saying? And I'm nowhere near no Mandingo shit, but like, you know, I put it down, you know what I'm saying? And like, she just loved what I did. She loved my sex, she loved my penis, she loved the way I did things, and like, it was no complaints, you know what I'm saying? And this wasn't even to make me feel better, because I didn't care. We weren't dating, we were just smashing, you know? So as long as y'all care about each other, and you putting it down right, and you're communicating, and you're going down on her right, then you shouldn't worry about her ex, you know what I'm saying? You shouldn't worry about any that bullshit. Just Hakuna Matata and just worry about you guys now and your future together. With that being said, hey y'all, new exclusive Love, Peace, Ski and Cheese t-shirt for this week only, okay? You can get this package, this shirt, these stickers, we fucked up and put, put it backwards so we're giving them away. These stickers and these pins, okay, all in like a bundle deal and an autographed um, picture from me um, all for like 30 bucks, okay? RodeoArcade.com, it's only this week. We're trying to see how much we can do. It's only like a few hundred we're doing, so go buy that shit. Also, my boy Matt, who's a filmmaker, did this really dope action romantic movie, and he put it on his website for free, so y'all might as well go watch it. We'll click the link below, watch his movie. Um, I'm gonna put a clip at the end of the video, and um, hey, Thank you for watching. Dear De La Ghetto, I love y'all. Thanks for subscribing. I'm flying to Austria this weekend for a show, and uh, I'll be in Australia next month. Brisbane, Perth, Melbourne, um, Adelaide, and uh, Sydney, all right? Peace.
Give me the money. What? Please, no, nothing, 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 sir. Give me the fucking money. Yes, money, 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 please. Yes, sure, money. Take it, take it, take it, take it all. Put it in a bag. Yes, yes, in a bag, in a bag, in a bag. Shit. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Hey. Hey. Take the girl home. I will wait for the police. 